Hi everyone, this is Jason from Lightspeed, and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a new employee role, and we're going to go over some of the permissions for that role. To begin, we'll go to Settings, and we'll scroll down and click Employee Roles. Here you'll see the default four employee roles that exist in Lightspeed Retail, and if you want, you can click on any one of them to see the employee permissions that are associated with that role and you can modify them if you see fit. Uh, but for the purposes of demonstration, we're gonna create a whole new one. And we're gonna go to new employee role. Start by giving it a name and we're gonna create something in between an associate and a manager called a senior associate. And if I wanted to give them the ability to do anything at all in the system, I could simply click all permissions and they would have the ability to do everything. Uh, you can then uncheck if you want them to be able to do most things and just unable the things that you don't want them to be able to do. Uh, or you can check it again to remove them all. And that is possible in each of these individual sections as well. And it's a great way to speed up the process. But for the purposes of demonstration, we'll go through these one at a time. I'm not going to go through all of them as there are a lot of them, uh, as you can see. I'm just gonna go over some of the key ones uh, that we're looking at today. If you want an exhaustive list though, click on the link in the description that'll take you to our Help Center article on employee roles, and you can see what every single permission does there. But a key one to begin with is external login. This determines whether or not the employee's username and password can be used to access the Lightspeed Retail account. Junior associates, for example, you might only want them to be able to unlock a locked screen or clock in or out with their PIN, but you don't want them to have access from home. Anyone with external login permission can use their username and password to log into your Lightspeed Retail account from any web browser. So if you don't want someone to be able to do that, uncheck that box. Reports, of course, gives them access to the reporting section. Uh, edit employee time clock entries uh, is rather self-explanatory, as several of these are. Uh, allows them to modify when an employee has clocked in or out. Manager override is if you have the age restriction module enabled on your account because you are selling age-restricted products. Uh, this will determine whether or not a senior associate has the ability to override the age verification process. Service, of course, gives them access to the service section where you will find work orders. For sales, uh, checking the sales permission determines whether or not they have access to the sales section on the menu. If you uncheck that, they won't even see this here. Refund, whether or not they're able to do refunds, whether or not they're able to open a register, withdraw cash from a register, close the register, change prices on the sales screen. If there's an error in the pricing, for example, on the sales screen and you want to edit a sale, only users with this checkbox can change the price at that time. Import catalog items, so items from your vendor catalogs being imported into your inventory through the sales menu. Whether or not this employee can create layaways or special orders and whether or not they can discount either the entire sale or a particular line in the sale. Inventory basic allows access to the inventory section. Show quantity on hand for all locations. If your employee is restricted to a particular one of your locations in a multi-location account, you can check this so that even if they don't have access to a second location, they can still check the quantity on hand for that location so they can let a customer know we don't have any here, but if you go to our other site on the other end of town, we do have some in stock there. So this allows them to make that check for quantity on hand without having access to logging into that location. Whether or not you want them to be able to see the cost of the items in your inventory, uh, whether or not you want them to be able to create and edit items in your inventory, whether or not you want them to have access to special orders that have already been created in order to fulfill them, 
uh, whether or not you want them to be able to access purchase orders and create them. You may want them to have the ability to create a purchase order or add to a purchase order, but not to receive them into inventory. So only more senior members could actually complete a purchase order and bring those items into inventory. We've separated those permissions. Whether or not they can do vendor returns, whether or not they can do inventory counts, but again, can they participate in the count, but not reconcile it? That's why these permissions are separate, so that only some employees can reconcile an inventory count when it's completed. Whether or not they can do transfers and like purchase orders, whether or not they can actually change the values in your inventory by sending stock for transfer. They can prepare it, but not actually complete it. Whether or not you want them to be able to import images and items through the import tool whether or not they have access to the vendors section to view vendor catalogs, whether or not they can create or edit categories, create or edit brands, add tags to items, or change the vendor return reasons. Ecom permission, uh, of course, will determine whether or not they can access ecom and online sales, whether or not they have access to the customer section, here on the sidebar, whether or not they can export the customer database, whether or not they can change a customer's credit limit, whether or not they can delete a customer from the database, and whether or not they can view gift card numbers. If you are a Lightspeed Payments subscriber, this will determine whether or not this employee can access the card sales and payouts reports in Lightspeed Retail. And of course, settings will determine whether or not they can access the settings section and the various things they can do in there, like set up additional shops or locations, uh, set up new employees, delete or archive employees, set up sales options, void sales, change pricing, for example, setting up price rules, uh, or modifying the options for register rules. Register rules being age verification primarily. So we did go through most of the employee permissions after all. Uh, we didn't go into great detail about what a lot of them do, uh, but you can get more information, as I said, in the link in the description. That concludes this video. Be sure to check out the Help Center for more information and videos.